people, my people. <coughs> well, I'm going to give this a uh, bit of a try. New, new format, the um, Uncle Odin doesn't seem to have worked out really well. So today I'm doing the final of three reviews. We're on Bancroft Bay. Um, Craig was kind enough to send me a sample pack of 200ml bottles. And today I'm doing the Red Gum Honey Gin. Um, should have appeared more likely there. Um, no, the all, all, all formats haven't worked at all well. So I'm just going to see how a straight up and down review goes in terms of things. So um, I actually have tasted a fair bit of this, as you can see. A fair bit missing. Uh, I can tell you that Craig really does have a future in distilling. So, Sound of Happiness. Um, now, River Red Gum, for those of you aren't Australian or live down south of east of Australia, is an Australian native gum. Um, one of the joys of living in Australia is we have, the, well, basically, eucalypt gums are really distinctly flavoured. Um, and like half a dozen other botanicals that I can name off the top of my head, the um, lemon scented myrtle, strawberry gums, um, the various citruses that Australia has and the rest of the world doesn't. It's one of those botanicals that sets our gins apart and none of you guys overseas can actually get some. So, Smell of Happiness says that, um, yeah, got a dry gin. Um, I'm actually picking up honey on the nose. So Craig, you I already know that this is um fantastic stuff. Um and I will look at his write up that he sent me. So it's um certainly a bold gin, as it's saying. I'm reading off his tasting notes. Um, it's Tambo Valley Honey. Tambo Valley is due north of Mitung, um, East Gippsland. So, with the exception of the coriander and the juniper, the rest of this baby I mentioned, including the water, comes out of East Gippsland. Um, earthy, it brings earthier tones to this gin, addition of blood orange and lily pili to softens it a little. Now, lily pili happens to be a relative of guava and, um, Eucalypts, guavas, mangoes, lily pillies, um, all hang out in the metal family. So, and I actually wouldn't, I know what guava tastes like, I certainly know what mango tastes like, I was raised in the tropics. Um, and lily pilly has a very guava taste when I eat them off the tree, because they are a plant that does incredibly well in this neck of the woods. So, Great, the simple message is, dude, you have a brilliant career ahead of you as a distiller. Um, he's saying, uh, mix this with blood orange soda and a slice of blood orange or use in a bee's knees cocktail. I'm not certain what a bee's knees cocktail is, so I'll take uh, Craig's word on mix it with soda. If you want a distinctly different um, sipping drink, um, something to sip on over an evening, do as I'm doing and drinking it neat. So um, this is the long review. Uh, I'm going to see if I can cut out the shorts. And thank you, Craig, for sending me the, um, the sample pack of three. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you.